fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi-oh, silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Faster, boy, faster! I will fill the The Lone Ranger and Tonto made camp at sunset. They were in the sheltered bottom of an arroyo and had with them a squint-eyed half-breed whose hands were tightly bound at the wrists. How do you expect a man to eat with his hands tied? I don't expect you to. You'll be untied long enough to eat, Judd. I don't see why you're so high and mighty about what's legal and what ain't. You wear a mask. We needn't discuss that. Let me know when the food's ready, Tonto. Uh, it takes a few minutes more. I didn't do no harm to anyone. What do you have to take me to the law for? There's a law against selling whiskey to Indians, Judd. <laughs> Who cares? Three towns and at least two wagon trains have been attacked by the Indians you've sold it to. Now you're through. It's that ornery old meddler thundercloud. He's the one that got you after me. Thundercloud's one of the best Indians in the country. If there were more like him, it would be a simple matter to make peace with all the tribes. You won't get me to town. No? You'll see. I got plenty of friends. Your friends won't help you now. Food ready. Stick your hands out, Judd. Take the rope off. Well, it's about time. You had me tied for two hours. Yes, and you're going to be tied again as soon as you've eaten. We're taking no chances on you. You'll see what happens. <laughs> there you are. Help yourself to food. Hello, what's the matter with Silver? Me not know. He seems to be trying to warn us. Me take look over edge of Arroyo. What's the matter, Silver? Hello! That's it! Get him! The trees! Drop down on him! Let him have it! Indians would sneak close, leap down the masked man and down from trees from the top of the Royal. The fight was furious. It ranged too close for gunplay. That's him, Silver! Come on, Smack! Joined the fray, leaping high and driving down with sharp hooves on the attacking savages. Tonto was down by a vicious blow by a war club. The Lone Ranger fought a moment longer, then Judd came up from behind. I'll fix you! Oh. Seeing the masked man fall, the mighty Silver fought more furiously than ever. Right and left, men fell from the onslaught of his hooves. Judd shouted at the Indians. Get away! Never mind the masked man! Get those men that are hurt! Pick him up and carry him away! Clear out! I'm free! That's what counts! Head. Oh, and you'll be all right. He put cold cloth on head. You'll be all right plenty soon. Toto. Uh, Indian come. Make attack. Knock you down. You... 
You were knocked down before I was. I, I saw you. Oh, me all right now. The Indians? All gone. Judd Fenner, the breed? Him gone too. Indian, come get him. I don't know why they left us alive. Silver Scout make hard fight. Drive him away. Oh, those horses. I know they saved our lives. That's right. We've got to find Judd. We pledged ourselves to deliver that breed to the law. It's dark now. Not find trail tonight. We follow trail and morn. He must have been unconscious a long time. Oh, one hour, maybe more. Tomorrow we trail Judd. The next time we get him, we won't give his savage liquor customers a chance to rescue him. That night in a valley, miles from the camp of the Lone Ranger in Tonto, the half-breed sat in a wigwam with the renegade leader of a savage tribe. The two watched warriors dance about the council fire. That masked man was a Lone Ranger, Red Feather. Just because I got away from him don't mean I'm in the clear. We go back, make other attack on masked man. You wouldn't have a chance. Why we not got a chance? The Lone Ranger would be on guard. We're just lucky you got him by surprise this time. Him trail you? Ain't no doubt about that. You trail me as sure as you're born. That's why I've been making plans. You got plans? Yeah, good ones. You see, the Lone Ranger figures there ain't much that's worse than selling fire water to Injuns. Uh, Injun like. Make them fight good. He's down on it. He vowed to put me out of business. He will, unless we can outsmart him. What's your plan? I'll either get the Lone Ranger, or I'll fix it so as the Lone Ranger will think I'm dead. I'll do that. I'll have to have your help. I reckon I can count on it, can I? You get more fire water? Oh, you and your men will get a lot more in fire water for helping me. You'll get clothes, guns and powder, wagons and horses, and a lot of fancy things. You mean like pioneer train? This will be another pioneer train. A lot of prairie wagons. Ah, that's good. I'm starting tonight. I'll head along the trail to the east till I find a train. I'll join up with it and stick till your boys attack. Uh, be savvy. Amongst the dead, there'll be a man that'll be identified as me. Unless I can get the Lone Ranger. How soon you start? Soon as I can get my stuff together. What if Masked Man trail you? Well, if he follows me, I'll have enough of a head start so I'll find some pioneers before he overtakes me. Once I'm in with him, I'll be all right. Leave that part to me. Uh, me too. <laughs> it's just possible I can arrange for one of the pioneers to do what none of us dare tackle. What's that? Maybe one of them could be persuaded to kill the Lone Ranger. It was three days later when Judd, riding east, met a long line of canvas-covered prairie schooners heading toward the west. So your name's Calhoun. Real glad to know you. Judge my handle. Just call me Judd. Uh, this here is Sam Slater. Howdy. Howdy, Slater. You coming out of the west? Not for far. You were riding east. Just to find myself a job, that's all. What kind of job? A guide. I know the west. Know where all the redskins are. Know the good water holes, everything. Is that so? Yep. I figured I might hitch up with a wagon train. I don't expect you gents need a guide. I don't know. Oh, Sam, there ain't none of us familiar with the country ahead. I know that, Calhoun, but I don't you know. You mightn't have no trouble at all. But on the other hand, there's a chance you might. There's a masked highwayman somewhere west of here. He's downright bad. What about Ridgehews? Well, you could fight against him. You might not know go near any of the valleys where the savages are. But if you did, you could fight him. But this masked man, he's full of tricks. As full of tricks as a nut's full of meat. He'd get into your confidence and massacre you while you slept. And put the blame on the redskins. Gosh, Calhoun, I don't like that. No more do I. Yeah, many a massacre has been blamed on redskins when the truth is it was the work of the masked man and his Indian partner. Just the two of them, that's all. I don't see how he could do it. There's half a hundred men in our outfit. What good would half a hundred be? Or five hundred? If they all got poisoned drinking water. Oh. Thought of that. You uh, know this man? I know him to see him. Sure, I'd like to have you travel with us, Judd, but our cash ain't none too plentiful. I'll tell you what I could do, Slater. What's that? Work for you for a found. Then when you settle someplace and get started in your new life, you could pay me. You mean you'd trust us for the pay? Why not? I've done it before. 
Well, there's a score of settlements that are in debt to me. Someday they'll all pay up. Well, if they don't, I at least know where I can go to be amongst friends. Hey, Ginger Calhoun, he's a downright fine hombre. Yep. I'm agreed to this proposition if you are, Slater. It's a deal. Shake. Shake it is. Hey there, boy. We got a man that knows this country to be a guy. At night, a camp was made, and the wagon train got underway again at daybreak. One hour later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto sighted the pioneer. Oh, there's Silver Post, Tonto Boy. Oh, easy. Oh, you see him? Yes. Tonto, the tracks of Judd's horse lead right up to that wagon train. He's either past the wagons or joined them. Map right. I'd like to know more about the location of those Indians whose camp we found. Judd spent some time with them. Well, we find Injun another time. Get Judd first. All right. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Sam, we'd better stop here. Signal the wagon's backups to stop. I think I know the horseman that's heading this way. Rain up! Off the wagon! Who? Oh, hold up. Hey, Judd. Is that man masked? The one of the white horse is. The other's an engine. Get your guns ready. That's the masked man I told you about. It is? You sure? I'll fix him. You missed Sam. I'll get him. You're shooting too far. Wait till he gets near enough to hit. He's coming closer all the time. Calhoun, look at that horse travel. Did you ever see the like of it? I never did. I'll get him this time. Hang it all, he dropped over the side of his horse as I fired. Uh, missed again. He ain't an easy target. I'll get him. He's fired. Oh. He got shot. I'll fix him this time. Oh. My hand. He shot my rifle away. He done the same to me. Sam, Sam, shoot him. Oh, that rifle. Calhoun, shoot him. Uh, shoot me if I tried it. Oh, Silver, stay easy. Oh, 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 oh. You needn't bother to pick up your rifles. They're smashed beyond repair. Yes, and if you pull it and missed the rifle, it might have got me. What were you shooting at? Well, I thought... Judge, you're the man I came after. Oh, I wondered what kind of stall you try to pull on these pioneers. The rest of your men are riding up to see about the shooting. We'll wait till they get here. Oh, 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 oh. What's the mask for? Who's the outlaw? What happened to you, Sam? Now, just a minute. The Indian who came with me is named Tonto. My name doesn't matter. That man who is guiding you is wanted by the law for selling liquor to savages. The Indians he's aroused have robbed and pillaged several wagon trains like this. <laughs> now, if that ain't a downright tall story... We've followed his trail this far. Sam, Calhoun, I ask you this. Which of us don't let his face be seen? That's eh? right, Judd, and we believe in you. I don't know what that man's told you, but he certainly has made you think I'm an outlaw. Otherwise, you wouldn't have opened fire on well, me. Well, one of the things he says was that you was a slick talker. Ain't he, though, Calhoun? He sure is. Judd told us the truth, all right. Men, I just asked for a fair trial. How's that? Todd and I will travel with you until we reach the next town. It will be about three days' travel. Then you can learn the truth from the sheriff. You hear what he says? Three days' travel. Why, there ain't a town in ten days' travel. Judd, there is a town if you'll lead these people to it. They can do what they've a mind to. They can go by themselves, or they can follow you, or they can follow me. You're the guide, Judd. You bet he is. And you, mister, better steer clear of us. Uh, hold on, boys. He's made a proposition. What? He says if we'll let him travel with us for three days, he'll take us to town. And the sheriff will tell you gents the truth. We heard that, Judd. Well, let him. Travel with us? Sure, why not? I ain't afraid of the truth. Why should I be? We'll let him travel with us. But we'll keep an eye on him to make sure he don't put poison in the water. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto traveled with the wagon train for the balance of the day. From time to time, Sam or Calhoun asked the masked man if they were traveling toward the town that was three days distant. And each time, the Lone Ranger replied with an affirmative nod. At sunset, the wagons were halted, and preparations for the night got underway. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were slightly apart from the others. Tonto, as you know, when we followed Judd's trail, it led to a valley where Indians had been camped. Isn't that right? And Judd stopped there, then rode away toward the east. The Indians had left in another direction. Ah. Uh. Judd's too confident. He has a scheme of some sort. Mm, that right. Well, whatever his plan is, he knows he's safe in letting us lead the way toward town. Because something will happen before we get there. Maybe him got plan with bad Indian. Maybe Indian wait in ambush. There's one way to find out. How that? We've got to check the trail ahead of the wagons. Ah, me right ahead. A man as smart as Judd is twice as dangerous as a man who's simply ruthless. He made himself a lot of friends in that wagon train. There's no reason for those men to take our word against his. Uh, that's right. He knows it'll be simple for him to blame anything that happens on us. Uh. We've got to make certain nothing happens before we reach the settlement. Hey, you start now. Scout the trail ahead as far as the wagons can travel tomorrow. If you find any sign of those savages, send a signal. Me do it. Steady, Scout, steady. I'll be watching. Uh, you watch, Judd. he make plenty of trouble for you. I'll be on guard. Get him up, Scout. Hey, where's the Indian going? Steady, Silver, old boy. We'll have to stay here for the time being. Hey there, mister. Yes? Your engine part just cleared out. Yes, he's gone to scout the trail ahead to make sure we won't be ambushed on tomorrow's march. Yeah? You sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. He ain't going to get a pack of savages together so we will be ambushed, has he? That's probably what Judd told you. Is that your canteen of drinking water? Yes, why? Let me borrow it. There's good water in that spring. I'll borrow yours unless there's some reason why you'd sooner I didn't. Oh, here. Thanks. Now you stay right there. We might want to ask you some more questions. I'll be here. You get the canteen, Sam? Right here, Judd. Let's see if Judd's suspicions is right. Uh, suspicions? Let me see that canteen. Huh? Judd says that one of your tricks is to poison a water hole and make everyone sick or dead so they can be robbed. Judd knows more about poison than I do. Yeah, this water smells suspicious. I bet he was just waiting for the chance to pour it into a water hole. He probably figured to wait for just before we refilled all the barrels. The water probably is unfit to drink now, Judd. You just dropped something into it. <laughs> you hear that, boys? That's his story. I dropped poison in the canteen. Here, you. This water is all right. You drink it. It isn't all right now. I didn't see Judd do anything. Me neither. He didn't let you see him, but he did let me. Because he wanted me to refuse to drink it. How about it, man? You going to listen to his lies? I don't like it. Me neither. I have proved he's scheming something. Otherwise, why did he have poison in this canteen? All ready to empty into our water supply. Judd, I wondered what your next move would be. Yeah, well, our next move was going to be to tie you hand and foot. Take off your mask and stow you in a wagon. Well, you can't get at these fine people. Is that how you feel, Calhoun? Oh, hang it all, sometimes I don't go near like you. We can't but take I... chances. You're taking the biggest chance of all when you let that man guide you. Well, till we've got reason to distrust him, we'll trust him. Now get your hands up while I take those guns. Well, not today. Hey! Oh! Oh! Big... Oh! Stop it! Come on, Silver! Ranger raced away from those who would make him prisoner. Darkness overtook him as he sped toward the west on Tonto's trail. Come on, Silver! He knew Tonto would travel an almost straight line, following the trail that many pioneers had used. He maintained a steady pace, keeping constant watch for his faithful Indian companion. Meanwhile, the members of the wagon train discussed the poison water. Judd proved his point by emptying the Lone Ranger's canteen into a shallow basin and boiling the liquid till it was all gone. Now, boys, bring that lantern closer and take a look at what's left in this here pan. Let me see. Ah, there's a white powder left here. It's right, and a lot of it, too. You boys know what it is? What is it, Judd? It's poison. The poison that was in the water. Doggone. I tell you, there's just one thing to do. Keep our eyes open for some of that man's tricks. If we see him again, we've got to shoot him on sight. Him and anyone, everyone that's with him. I wouldn't put it past him to have some more outlaws fixed up like lawmen just to throw us off guard. You'll sure be on guard. You bet we will. We'll shoot that masked man on sight. 
Well past midnight when the Lone Ranger saw another rider racing toward him. Closer scrutiny brought out the fact that it was Tonto riding hard. Oh, Silver, steady, move! The masked man reined up and waited. Silver, old boy, he's coming fast. He's learned of trouble on the trail ahead. Aye! What is it, Tonto? Oh, scalp, oh, fellow, oh! Steady. Oh, oh. We see him. Indians. Plenty Indians. You saw what Indians? Savage Indians. Same one who made camp. The camp where Judd's tracks led? That's right. The friends of Judd Fenner. Uh, what are they doing? Them leave camp, make big circle, come back near trail, hide in woods. The woods ahead? That's right. Woods on trail. They ambush the pioneers. That's why Judd knows something will happen before he can be taken to town. Uh, but why are you here? Judd's work. He made the pioneers think I was going to poison their drinking water. And now you warn pioneer, Indians wait to ambush wagon train. Toto. Those pioneers will shoot us on sight. Huh. And I can't return their fire. They're good people. They can't be blamed for believing what Judge told them. But Indians in woods wipe pioneer out. Kill men, women, steal goods. Toto, cut south of the woods and get to the town as fast as you can. Tell the sheriff about the savages. Huh. Tell him that Judd Fenner is with pioneers and is leading those pioneers directly into the woods. Nico. Tell the sheriff you need a big posse. But those savages have built up a lot of false courage with firewater. And what you do? I'm going to try to make those pioneers believe what I tell them. But then shoot you on sight. I don't think they'll shoot if I ride up to them with my right hand raised. Now hurry. Huh. Get them up, scout. Come on, Silver. The next day, the wagons had been on the trail for many hours. The afternoon was nearly spent with no sign of danger of any sort. Sam Slater, Calhoun, and the false guide, Judd Fenner, led the way with the wagon strung out for a long distance toward the rear. What do you think, Judd? Should we pitch camp here and now, or should we push on and try to get through those trees ahead of us before dark? Push on. But we don't know how big that wood is. Who Jones? <laughs> That's so. I keep forgetting we've got a guy that knows the land. We can get through <laughs> yeah. the woods, camp on the other side, and we'll be that much near the town. As for me, I'll be real glad to see you town again. Won't you, Calhoun? You bet, eh? Sam, look. The white horse. Hey, it's the same one. Masked man? Yeah. Unlimber your rifles. This time, we won't let him get away from us. Who is he killing? Hold on, Calhoun. Look at the way he's coming up to meet us. His right hand raises is sort of a signal. Ah, uh, more of his tricks. Uh, hold it, Judd. We can't open fire on him. Who can't? I'll rid this country of that critter right now. Hold it, Judd. Rain up. Whoa there. Oh, oh, why not let him have it? He's coming here for some reason. We'll wait and find out what it is. Hold your wagons. Go ahead, Calhoun. Signal the wagons to halt. Bring up the wagons. Keep your distance and keep your hands up. Hold there, Silver. Ho, ho. Slater, Calhoun, their guide's leading you into a trap. That's a lie. Those woods ahead are filled with Indians waiting in ambush. Friends of yours, no doubt. Friends of that man, Judd Fenner. My friend has gone for lawmen. Wait right here until they arrive. Listen to him. Wait here for his friends to come and wipe us out. You say the woods is full of savages? Yes. I spent some time scouting around there. I know they're in ambush. At least we're going through that woods to me. But you can't make it. No. We'll make it all right. And when we're on the other side, we'll be near the town. Then I reckon your outlaw friends won't try anything, because it'll be lawmen too close. Nothing can be lost by camping here for the night. Sometime between now and tomorrow morning, the lawman will arrive at the far side of the woods. Boys, all he wants is for us to camp here, where his pals can sneak in during the night and wipe us out. Judd's leading you straight to the Indians. Believe what I tell you. He got more reason to trust Judd than he got to trust you. You already tried to poison a drinking water. We let you come here with your hands raised. Now we're giving you ten seconds to get away. Before we open fire. Now, vamos. Come on, boys. We're going on. Light up the horses. All right, then I'll show you the savages. I'll show you they're in that woods. I saw them. Come on, Silver. The Lone Ranger had to take desperate chances to prove to the pioneers that he'd spoken the truth. He dashed straight for the woods. Then at the edge of the trees, cut sharply to the right. He plunged into a leafy tangle, a shot bark. The savages knew that masked rider. Knew him as a bitter enemy of lawlessness as a man who might spoil their scheme of murder. There were more shots, and savage voices, and shrill yelps of surprise. This way, Silver. Me get! The masked men guided the big stallion around rocks, dodging back of big trees, taking what protection there was and keeping his guns handy for defense against those who were nearest. He knew just where he was going. He headed directly for the biggest rock in sight, rounded it, and came upon Red Feather, savage leader of the tribe. Kulugita! It's too late for your savages to get here. You're coming with me! 
Jerking the savage to the saddle, the masked man held him in strong arms and shouted, Come on, Silver! Slater, Calhoun, and the others of the wagon train saw the white horse break from the woods and race toward them. We've got a redskin the saddle with him. He told the truth. There was inches here. And look, there's others coming after him. They're chasing what? him. He's captured Redfeather. What's that, Judd? You know him? Uh, no. We've no. got to help that man. He spoke the truth. The Lone Ranger carried the Indian leader directly toward the wagons with a horde of savages in pursuit. He reined up before Slater, Judd, and Calhoun. There's the leader of the Indians. Look at him. You double cross. You betrayed. Oh, no. I didn't do What's it. What's that redskin I... saying? He's accusing Judd of a double cross. I'll take that gun, Judd. No, you don't. I'll... Oh. Now stay where you are. Later, Calhoun. Your men can beat those redskins here in the open. Open fire. Let them have it. The fight was a short one. The Indians broke, then fled in all directions. When it was over, the pioneers crowded around the masked man and his prisoners, Judd and Red Feather. You sure turned up those redskins for us. Hey, don't savvy that man, Judd Finney. Hey, just what I told you. He works with the savages. Who's that a-coming? Otto and the sheriff. They're riding ahead of the posse. Now you can turn Judd Fenner over to the sheriff. See here, we know we'd have been wiped out if you hadn't kept us from going into the woods. We know Judd was in cahoots with Red Feather, the engine leader. Who are you? Calhoun, the sheriff will tell you that I'm just a man who promised to turn Fenner over to the law. He'll tell you that his posse will pursue the savages and drive them from this part of the country. And that he's here because Tonto brought him. Now I'm going to meet Tonto. You'll need no guide for the rest of your journey. But your Come on, Silver. Hey, he still didn't tell us who he is. Oh, Silver! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated.